Okay, today I'm recording a video inside because it's very, very, very windy outside and I only, I'm only lighting a little tiny bit of black powder so it's not going to be a big difference if I do it inside or out. But over here on the left is a willow powder or willow charcoal that was um, milled down on its own. So I did a ball mill about an hour on the willow charcoal. I did an hour on the potassium nitrate and then I uh, included the sulfur in at the very end for the last ball mill which was about an hour and a half. So this black powder here is black powder that I milled individually and then combined them and milled them together. Usually when I make black powder it's it burns decent but it's never really really fast. It's kind of slow. This black powder here, I milled all three ingredients together using the same exact charcoal, same exact potassium nitrate, and same exact sulfur. This one I put 75, 15, 10, ball milled it for about four hours, granulated it two times. This one on the left is the one that I just made now, I granulated just one time. We're going to see what the difference is with the burn rates. Usually my black powder kind of sucks. But let's, I think this black powder that I figured out now is a little bit faster. I'm going to move those out of the way and we're going to do a quick test. Yeah, kind of decent, right? It's not too fast. It's okay and it also has a little bit of a residue at the end. Here is the black powder that I made ball milling the ingredients individually and then combining them at the end and ball milling them all, to get all together. As you can see, it's a lot faster. And these two black powders are the exact same chemicals, the exact same granulations. I used an eight mesh screen that I got off of Amazon and I noticed that my black powder now is a lot faster if you ball mill the ingredients on their own or make them very, very fine and then ball mill them together and then granulate. Obviously with black powder, if you granulate more than once, you know that it's going to increase the speed. But this black powder here, I only granulated once and this isn't even completely dry. I've only had it blowing on the fan for about two hours. This black powder has been sitting for about maybe three days in its little container. So this one is completely dry, whereas this one is not 100% dry and it's very fast as you can tell. So if your black powder comes out where it's not as fast or it seems quick, but you know, you're granulating it one, two, three, four times and it's not burning fast, you might want to try individually ball milling the ingredients, making them as very fine powder as you can and then combining them together and then granulating it and see if that helps you get a little bit faster black powder. Thank you for watching.